Hello guys, it is Briggsy Boy here. Welcome back to my channel and today I have another episode of my FIFA 18 at Black and Rovers career mode. So sit back and enjoy because things are going to get extremely interesting. So then the first game which we have in this episode is in a way bout against Gillingham FC. This is a squad that we've gone for for this game, just making the one change. That one change being Ryan Niambi who comes in for Paul Caddis in the right back position. So then hopefully we can get a win here against Gillingham, keep us in that top two position and secure our place looking to get the top spot off Walsall. But anyway, let's get into the first game and let's try to get a win. Here's Ryan Sesson Young. He puts a wide ball out, we volley it and it's hit off the leg of the Gillingham defender but we still have the ball with Richie Smallwood. We play it out wide to Derek Williams, back to Smallwood. And now to Corey Evans. Corey Evans lets fly! Hits the crossbar. Brilliant effort and it's just too much power in the end. But a decent hit. It had the right power, it had the right direction. But it just rockets the crossbar there. Unlucky from Corey Evans. It's just a matter of time. Which game will confirm the title for them? They've led from the start to very near the finish. Oh, what a team we've witnessed. This poking the hops to punch. Bingham, he strikes, brilliant save there from David Ray, just sticks out a hand, stops the ball in its tracks, puts it out for a corner kick, it was a very good effort, straight at Ray, just puts up his left hand there, pats it out for a corner kick, it's a Gillingham corner then which Starkey will take, he's put it low, and we've passed it straight to the player now, who has some space, but it's a great interception there from Richie Smallwood, and their attack is squandered. Elliot Bennett takes the corner then, in a good area, can't quite find the head of anyone, Corey Evans gets it down though, good control, Charlie Mulgrew, he lashes it from some distance, brilliant save from the Gillingham keeper, Gillingham corner kick then, Starkey the taker again, puts it low, the volley, 1-0 Gillingham, easy as that, it was a misleading hit from the number 10 man Wilkinson, it did look like he'd scuffed it, but it finds its way past the defence and past David Rea, and that gives them a 1-0 lead before the first half has ended, and Rea jumps for that one, probably expecting more power on it. The bounce was misleading, he misjudged it, and it goes into the back of our net there then. 1-0 Gillingham, not a great start for us. Like I said, we need to be winning almost every game from now on if we want that top spot badly enough. Ryan Niambi. Chapman, he flicks it to Sessegnon, it's an early attack from us, good save from the Gillingham keeper, just puts it out wide, and we pick it up with Bradley Dack, Dack puts a good ball in, Tomlinson tries to head it, doesn't quite work out, and Gillingham a let off there, as they survive another attack from us, Bradley Dack, he has to put it out wide, he's got no other choice, Sessegnon, Chapman, to Antonson, Finds Samuel on the right hand side, Samuel shoots, good save from the Gillingham keeper, he's pulled off quite a few in this game so far, that's another to add to his tally there, goes out for a corner which Dak takes, Antonson's header, oh and he spilt it there and we tried to get on the rebound with Corey Evans but it didn't quite work out, the defence cleared it rapidly, Tomlinson takes a free kick short to Corey Evans. Evans bangs it 1 1. What an absolute stinker of a goal. Brilliant hit. He couldn't have hit it any better there. And what a brilliant goal to get us back in this game. I thought of a pop. And boy, was that a good strike. Corey Evans gets us back in this one with a goal. And what a wonder strike that was. The captain in this game showing his first team quality there. To hit it from so far out, right, that's a good 25, 30 yards right into that far corner. The keeper is not going to save that one, and that gets us back on level terms with Gillingham. It's 1-1 one, one now then. We are back in this one. Starkey to Parker to Wilkinson. Ryan Ambi with brilliant defending there, and that could have just saved us there from conceding. Now it is our turn to attack with Dominic Samuel on that right-hand side. He's... Pacing forward nicely, we've got two players in the box, he puts one in, the header, oh and it's just over, I thought Bradley Dat was going to give us that winning goal there against his former club, but it just rises over the bar there into the side netting, unlucky there. 
Antonsen. Antonsen does the defender. He's through here. He shoots. Brilliant save. And usually Antonsen would finish them off every day of the week. Not on that occasion, though. Full time whistle goes in. And we only managed to get a point away at Gillingham. We came back with that wonder strike from Corey Evans, which gave us ultimately that point in this game. But I think their keeper is a huge part to play in them getting the point today. He pulled off some brilliant saves. It's a point, though, and it's a point that we'll take. And hopefully, Walsall will start dropping points at the top position in the league table. So then getting into our second game of the episode after that draw against Gillingham, things pretty much stay the same in the league table. We are still 10 points behind Walsall as they managed to get a draw in their game, but of course we still have two games in hand. This is one of those game in hand, a home bout against Bury, who are currently 5th in the league table, and if they beat us there is that chance that they could overtake us on points on goal difference, sorry, but uh, this is a squad that we've gone for for this game, so I've had to make quite a few changes due to tiredness. Paul Caddis coming in for Ryan Yambi, Downing and Johnson, who come in for Mulgrew and Lenny Hudden, Whittingham, who comes in for Corey Evans, Conway comes in for Sesson Young, and Gladwin comes in for Bradley Dack, Chaplin also comes in for Marcus Antonson. So then let's get into this second game of the episode, try and get three points on the board, get closer to Warsaw in first position and keep this unbeaten run going. Chaplin to Gladwin, he scampers through, 1-0, very early lead for us after just four minutes against Bury. Things seem to be going our way early on here, Gladwin playing just behind Chaplin up top, seems to be working just about right for us. As he gets the opening goal in this game. Four minutes gone. 1-0 up against Borough. It's a dream start for us. And hopefully things continue in this fashion. Gladwin gets his first league goal of the season. Never knew that. Thought he'd already bagged some by now. But he has now. 1-0 then against Borough. Courtesy of Ben Gladwin. Great interception from Gladwin there, and he's through. He's hungry for his second goal. We get close. Oh, and it's hit the post, the rebound. And we've somehow blazed that one over. Conway's got to finish that. I don't know how we missed it. Maybe we put too much power on. That should have been game over, though. Missed opportunity there. Here's Peter Whittingham. Not much of a say in the game, but he puts on a good pass there to Gladwin. He scampers through. Takes the shot just over the bar we have got to make. One of these chances count. Jermaine Beckford. We know he's a danger. And I thought that was going to be the equaliser there. He was close in that penalty area. But the shot just blazes over in the end. Craig Conway. Conway to Chaplin. Chaplin to Bennett. Just blazes over. Unlucky effort. Tomlinson. Gladwin. Gladwin finds Danny Mulder on the right hand side, who passes a good one to Joe Nuttall. Nuttall has some space, he's brought down, it will be a free kick for us, in quite a dangerous area as well. Paul Caddis to be the free kick taker. Oh and it's straight at the keeper basically, but he makes a bit of a meal out of it. And Here is Tomlinson. He lets one crack, and that's quite easy there for Murphy to handle. Richie Smallwood finds Nuttall to Gladwin. Gladwin lets rip 2-0. Doubled up on his tally in this game, and it looks like that could be game over. Three points for us. Almost 75 minutes gone, and Gladwin gets us the second, and we are now comfortably in the lead. It's a good finish as well, shrugging off the Borough defenders. And we let one rip, we shoot, and it goes right into that bottom corner. Who knew that Ben Gladwin would be so lethal in that centre-forward position, just behind the striker. But he's been brilliant in this game, and he has arguably been the reason why we are 2-0 up. Brilliant goals from him, and we now lead 2 up against Bury. Conway. Mulder. His nut all! Good stop by the keeper. Not all. Mulder. 
Joe Nuttall, another good stop from Murphy there. He's determined not to let a third goal in in this game. And there goes the full-time whistle then. It's a 2-0 win over Bury in the league. A crucial win for us. And one that closes the gap against Warsaw for us in the league. Keeps us secure in second place. And more importantly, we beat a team that were challenging for the playoffs. But a good win. And it is now time to move on to the third game of the episode. So then guys, after that 2-0 win against Bury in the league, as you can see the changes being made is that now we are only 7 points behind Walsall, still with a game in hand over them. Every other team though in that top 6 position in the league has played 38 games, meaning the game extra than us. But a very important game for us ahead now, and I have made quite a few changes to the starting lineup after quite a lot of tied players have had to be dropped for this game. So David Ray stays in goal, but Ryan Niambi, Charlie Mulgrew, Lenny Hun and Sesson Young make up a whole new defence for us in this game. Chapman plays in left minute instead of Conway, with Bennett on the right staying where he is. Corey Evans and Bradley Dack make up the two in centre mid, with Dominic Samuel playing just below Antonsen as the strikers. But anyway, let's get into this match and let's try and get a win. Elliot Bennett... It's a good ball in, volleyed, and it's hit a bit wayward there from Bradley Dack. Could have probably done better in that circumstance, but it does go out for a goal kick from that. Elliot Bennett, and this is his chance to run down that right-hand side, using his pace to our advantage. Puts one in, keeper has to punch it away, but Harry Chapman has some space that he can work into. Oh, and the pass was poor. Great interception there. Antonson. Here's Samuel. Here's the space to shoot. 1-0 up against Doncaster. He had a bit of room, so we took the shot. It was a brilliant one in the end. Goes right into that far corner, and the keeper couldn't get down to it. And some serious power behind it, and I mean... Antonson the one putting the little pass on for him, which gave him the chance to shoot, shrugs off that defender, hammers it into that top corner, Doncaster keeper can't get there to save it, and it's Dominic Samuel's fifth goal of the season for us then, and he gives us the lead after just 30 minutes against Doncaster, brilliant start for us. Great pass out wide there to Elliot Bennett, he chests it down, runs onto the ball, Here's a good opportunity for us. Cuts inside, shoots. Good save from the Doncaster keeper. Williams to May. Here's May for Doncaster to Donyo. Ooh, and it's just wide for Doncaster. Here's Connor Chaplin. Here's Harry Chapman. Puts one in. Whittingham's over a kick. And it was a... Testing shot there for Doncaster's keeper, Antonson. Here's Chaplin. Oh, and that's a great pass over the defender to Marcus Antonson. We're through on goal. Oh, what a save from the keeper. We got close, made sure our chance was going to be an accurate effort. It was an accurate effort, but it was straight at the keeper. Doncaster corner kick then, just 10 minutes left. It's something we don't want to concede from. Oh, and there's the volley, just wide. Good effort though. Here's Sam Hart. He gets to run up that left-hand side. Not been able to do much in this game, but here's his chance. Gets around that defender who puts the slide tackle in. Puts a very good ball in. Header, 2-0. Peach of a cross by Sam Hart. More importantly, a brilliant header from Connor Chaplin, which gets us 2-0 up against Doncaster. Looks like the three points are secured for us now. Brilliant goal from Connor Chaplin. Seventh goal of the season. And that gets us 2-0 up in the lead against Doncaster. Full-time whistle goes in and it's a 2-0 win against Doncaster Rovers. Brilliant result for us and one which we needed. So it's a second win in the league for us. 
as well as that draw against Gillingham, it's not been bad going so far this episode. So then we of course get into our final game of the episode being Blackpool at home. This is our other game in hand, which after we've played this will mean that every single team in the League One division would have played 39 games. So this is a very important crunch game for us, because if we manage to beat Blackpool here on home turf, we would just be one point behind current league leaders Walsall with still seven games left to play in the league. So then this is the squad that we've gone for for this game with David Rea starting in goal, Paul Caddis in right back with Paul Downing, Dara Lenihan and Derek Williams making up the defence, Harry Chapman in left mid with Bennett on the right, Smallwood and Gladwin in the two centre mid roles and then Bradley Dack playing just below Marcus Antonsen as the striker. So then let's get into this fourth and final game of the episode and let's try and get a win to end things off in a good way, but I'm confident that we can get the three points here on home turf against Blackpool. Back to Smallwood. Here's Gladwin. He strikes and it blazes over the bar there. Antonsen. Here's Bradley Dack. He's got some space. 1-0, Bradley Dack, the scorer for us, puts it right into that far-hand corner, and that gives us the lead after just 16 minutes. Bradley Dack has certainly scored plenty of goals within the last 10, 10 games or so. He's been getting one nearly every game. He is on fire, playing just below Antonson in that midfield area. It's his best position, and he has thrived there under this new formation, which we did undergo a couple of games back. Brilliant goal from Dak. No hesitation. We took the shot, and it is a peach of a goal. One to add to his tally, and we take the lead then against Blackpool. 1 0. Here's McAllister. He puts one in. Good header, and it's just wide there. Good effort from Clayton. Caddis finds Chapman there with a very good cross out wide. Chapman to Antonson in the centre. Bennett's got a surging run, look at him, look at him go, 2-0, brilliant shot by Elliot Bennett, giving us that 2-0 lead, and it's an early lead as well, not even 30 minutes on the clock, and we are dominating Blackpool, it's a brilliant through ball there, I saw the pass was on, I passed it out wide to Bennett there with Antonson, and we hit it first time, and it's somehow gone right into that far corner, that is a brilliant shot there from Elliot Bennett, Adding to his tally this season, and what a peach that one was. We go 2-0 up then against Blackpool. Antonson to Ben Gladwin. We're not showing any signs of giving up attacks here. He's Gladwin still got the ball. Oh, brilliant save from the Blackpool keeper. Keeps this one a close contest with that save. Corner kick though, which Elliot Bennett takes, and it is out wide, and... The Blackpool man just flicks it on there, but manages to get a throw for us. Here's Harry Chapman. Chapman to Paul Caddis. Caddis finds Dak. Dak shoots, good block, still got the ball. So we shoot again, that time it's into the hands of Allsop. Bennett to Dak. Dak. Looks hungry for another goal. Puts one into the middle to Antonson. 3-0. That could be game set and match now. The third goal coming before half time. It certainly looks like we've ran away with this one. Dak played it into the middle. Antonson whacks it hard and powerful. And it had some height on it as well. The keeper wasn't going to save that one. Good goal by Antonson. Adding to his tie this season. I think he's on 19 or 20 goals. Just in league competition alone, it's a brilliant tally that he's managed to get this season. And one which he doesn't look like he's going to give up anytime soon. We lead then, 3-0 against Blackpool. Williams. Finds Bennett with that wonderful cross out wide. Bennett's been on fire in this match so far and he puts a very good pass out wide there to Richie Smallwood. Smallwood to Derek Williams. Williams has acres of space so we take the shot. And it's not a bad effort from the left back. Turton. That is a very good pass out wide to Clayton. 
He puts one into the middle. The header just over. Tomlinson with some space. So I take the shot and it's just over the bar. Not a bad effort from the youngster there. Chaplin. He finds Conway. Back to Chaplin. Here he goes. Chaplin shoots. Good save. It was straight at the keeper though. Dak. To Chaplin. To Tomlinson. To Chaplin. Oh, good stop. The rebound. 4-0. Here's a late one. But it's 4-0 nevertheless. Just before the 90th minute. Craig Conway cropping up again to get another goal. He's been very steady this season towards... The latter half, he scored many goals, and I think that's his fifth or sixth goal in about ten or so games. He's certainly been a good impact to come on off the bench in the second half. And he scores another there. Yes, it was just a simple volley into the goal, but we have messed them chances up this season. Conway not the type to mess them up. He gets a goal there, and that puts us now 4-0 up in the lead in a second half, which has been fairly quiet for both teams. Full time whistle goes in and it is a huge 4-0 win over Blackpool FC at home. That is the win that we needed on our game in hand, meaning that now we are just one point below league leaders Walsall. The title race is still on between the two of us and who is going to get it? Well, I guess it's going to go right down to the wire, but a brilliant game there from us. Every single player on that pitch looked very sharp and focused. Bradley Dak and Bennett, I would say, were the star performers in that game, but nevertheless, a brilliant win for us. So there we go then, guys. This is the table, as you can see, after getting that big 4-0 win against Blackpool. Like I said, just one point behind league leaders Walsall. A lot better than them on goal difference, so if it comes down to that last game of the season, I think we will trump them on that. But um, for now, that is where I'm going to end off this episode. I hope that you have enjoyed it. Make sure to drop a like down below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you and goodbye.